like head maids now. Not really, <laughs> but you're starting to become a little mean. We're becoming mean, but sometimes that's a good thing. That way people won't bully us anymore. Hmm? I think you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you! Come here. What do you need? I need you to wash and hang these clothes before dinner. Have them in my room tomorrow. These aren't Lord Ye's clothes. <laughs> of course they're not. These pretty clothes I'm holding? They're all mine. Those are yours? You can't ask Shao Liu to wash your clothes, That's right? You have no right to speak here. So what, you're the master now? to be sinks from now on. What? <sighs> Mrs. Shia sent me here. No one can take my room. This is Greenhill Court. Sheng is now Lord Ye's personal maid. Jinju, know your place. From now on, you need a silver bell to clean Lord Ye's study. Only Sheng has permission to enter Lord Ye's bedroom. Is that understood? <sighs> You're all dismissed. So many people. So is Shing throwing a little tantrum? Hello, Jinju. So, you just got the silver bell and you're already giving orders? I wouldn't dare, Jinju. It's just to cater to Lord Ye's every need. I have to get to know everyone. Oh? They don't know the rules, so they didn't prepare a gift for you. But it's not a big deal. I got you one. Normally common maids like us don't get to eat food like this. Oh, right. You grew up in the pasture. Heard you ate rat meat as a child. Of course you've never tasted real food. Hey, why don't you bring these with you? 
so your sisters can have a taste. Hmm? Consider it a gift from me to you. What is it? Are you getting mad at me? <laughs> Listen, don't get too full of yourself. I could teach you how things are done here. Listen, Jinchu. One must know the rules to teach them. I think you're not qualified. <laughs> Snuggling with Lord Ye won't keep you safe. Just wait and see. All right. Now, and let him deal with this. Jinchu, you dropped something. Xing Xiao Yu, be careful now. Don't you cross the line. The green hills cannot slow the river's eastward flow. Jinchu, I will only say this once. You won't get another warning from me. If you want to put dirt on me again, I suggest you come up with a much better plan. If you really want to get me into trouble, don't try something this stupid. For now, get out of my room. Looking for something? I lost something a few days ago. I was looking for it. What is it? It's nothing important. Go on. I'd like to see what you'd find. Never mind. Now that I think about it, I don't really need it. You've stayed here for days already. If it ever was here, it's too late. Just think of it as a donation to a poor beggar. She's lying. I know she's involved in Lin Shi's death. Stay here with us. Listen to me. This low life disrespected me, so the master punished her. <laughs> hey, listen to me. You too. Move her there. Ah, no, 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 no. Um, Jinju, it's just that that window does not close at all. The wind will make her feel very cold. Well, then, even better. She just served for one day, and now she's back in the slave house to clear her mind. She needs it. She's injured. The cold will make her worse. Just stop talking. She should rest. What did they do to her in there? It's bruised. Be gentle. Go on now. Just go to sleep. 